British Council Ra Cambridge International Education Co Sangyut Ayushrama The Cambridge Learning Award Sampanna Bhayeko Cha March 22 Tarik Ka Din Bauddha Ma Avasthit Hayat Regency Ma Aayojana Gariyeko Ukta Award Ceremony Ma Nepal Ka Lagi Belayati Rajdoot Ro Pen Testai Cambridge Vishwavidyalay Ka South Asia Regional Director Mohesh Srivastava Cambridge International Ka East India Bangladesh Tatha Nepal Senior Manager Satyajit Sarkar British Council Ka Regional Exam Director South Asia Harit Gardner British Council Nepal Ki Country Exam Director Pratiksha Thapa Rai Maji Lagayat Siksha Sambandha Uchha Bekti Bekti Tua Haruko Baklo Upasthiti Rai Kuthiyo My warm welcome to you all to this outstanding Cambridge Learner Award Ceremony jointly hosted by British Council and Cambridge International Education to recognize the achievements of the November 2022 and June 2023 Cambridge Examination Series. The British Council Nepal is a reputable institution known for its commitment to promoting cultural exchange, education and language proficiency. As a part of the Global British Council Network, for the last 65 years, British Council in Nepal has played a pivotal role in fostering educational opportunities and enhancing mutual understanding between Nepal and the UK. With a focus of enhancing the overall learning experience, the British Council in Nepal serves as a reliable partner for those seeking academic and professional development. In Nepal, British Council is known not only for our Cambridge A-level exams, but also for the IELTS, ACCA exams, and other professional examinations as well. Today, we gather to celebrate excellence, honor achievement, and recognize the remarkable talents and contributions of our students who have truly excelled in their respective subjects. It is with great pleasure and pride that we welcome you all to this prestigious award ceremony. Today, we not only celebrate the accomplishments of our honorees, but also the spirit of dedication, perseverance of their dear parents and respected teachers. Each award being presented this e today represents more than just recognition. It symbolizes the culmination of countless hours of hard work, sacrifice, and unwavering commitment to excellence. I take pride in British Council's role in facilitating these opportunities for the students here in Nepal to pursue their passions and advance towards realizing their full potential. As a Cambridge A-level alumna myself, I can personally vouch that Cambridge qualifications have not only equipped them with deep subject knowledge, but also instilled invaluable skills like communications, critical thinking, that is essential both in higher education and their professional lives. To all the honorees today, I extend my heartfelt congratulations. Your accomplishments inspire all of us to reach higher, dream bigger, and strive for excellence in everything we do. Finally, I'd also like to thank each and every one of you for being here today to share this celebration. Your presence adds joy and significance to the occasion, and we are truly grateful for that. Award Samarohama British School, Trinity International College, St. Xavier's College, Nami College, Budalankanta School, Malpi Institute, Lagayatka, Saichik Swastaka Vidyarthi Avlai, Information Technology, Future Mathematics, Literature in English, Environment Management, Geography, Sociology, Mathematics, Physics, Chemistry, Biology, Psychology, Lagayat Ka Bidama, Vidyarthi Avlai Utkrishta Awad Pradhan Kariye Ko Ho.
उत्कृष्टता हासिल करने का विद्यार्थी उन्हें अपनों अनुभव साथ लेकर थे। To speak in front of you in this very moment, ladies and gentlemen, I want you to picture a young child in his father's office, staring at the heaps of documents organized in intimidating piles. Quite understandably, whatever the office was used for was probably not too appealing to the child. A young me faced a very similar situation. My father's office was used for the purpose of reviewing documents of various businesses and corporations. A law firm is what it was. And that is where I was first exposed to the world of businesses and their sustenance. Though my relationship with the subject did not exactly start like a romance novel, over my experience of indirect exposure to the field, I developed a fascination for the subject. The interactions of theoretical strategies with the practicalities of the market, a beautiful dance that I was able to begin comprehending as I expanded my knowledge. In that regard, I would like to thank Cambridge Curriculum as it allowed me to pick an assortment of subjects that allowed me to meaningfully engage with each and every one of them in a way that I was able to pursue the internal drive I had to a significant degree without limiting my horizons too much too early. Next, I would like to thank Ms. Nirjala Poder, Mr. Roshan Kumar Zodari, and Mr. Ramesh Nadawari, my teachers, for helping me and navigate through the complexities of uh, these subjects. Without them, I don't think I would be able to study as effectively as I did, which is a large part of why I'm standing here today. It was because of them that I was able to walk a well-paved road instead of having to dig an entirely new one. So thank you, respected teachers. I will always be grateful for the unwavering support you have given me. Now, what I would like to say is, do not just study your subject matters. Learn them and make them your lifestyle. You need to respect your subjects. That is exactly what I did during my preparations. Dedication, perseverance, and hard work are the things that bring you success. As I end my speech, I would like to thank Budanil Kanta School for giving me a friendly environment to study in, my friends for always motivating me towards my ambitions, and lastly, my family for always being there. Thank you, everyone. Thank you so much. First, I'd like to thank my parents who believed in me and supported my choice to pursue a rivers far from my home and far from them. And then I'd like to thank my teachers who through their continued effort and dedication uh, made my transition from secondary school to a levels really fun and so seamless. And I'd like to thank Trinity, the college, which not only made my two years of schooling so integral and interesting, but also so formative for my personal growth and character. Interestingly, I was here on this stage last year too, not as an awardee, but uh, as a part of a dance troupe. And I remember sitting in this program so in awe of the seniors who were awarded before me. And I called my mother back home and I told her I had hope to be in their place someday. I don't think I quite believed that I was capable of it. Luckily, my teachers and my parents believed in it enough. And they always encouraged me to set high goals and have faith that through hard work and dedication, they were attainable. Um, my uh, two years of schooling in Trinity was full of encouragement like this. I think academic success fosters uh, in an environment where a class uh, ensures that the students not only understand the topics that they're learning about, but also deeply care about them. I think my teachers and campus education it achieves that really well. Um, I felt a sense of belonging in my class. In class discussions, uh, as ridiculous as it sounds, I felt like I was part of something bigger than myself, a part of the bigger scientific community who use their understanding to form new breakthroughs and to reach new horizons. And in A-levels, every subject is an immersive experience of its own. And, and our classes were interactive, and I was always inspired by the care and effort that their teachers put into making sure that the students understood and cared about what they were learning. I'm really glad I got to experience a learning environment like that. Karikama British Council ka Regional Exam Director South Asia, Harit Gardner Lake, Nepal Tatha Onya De Saruma Raika, Afna Partner Song Sasta Haruma, Cambridge International Education League, Gulostari Seba Subida Pran Gorde Aireku, Tarana Bektogon Pio.
साथै आगामी दिनहरूमा पनि आफ्नो सेवा सुविधालाई थप गुणस्तरीय बनाउँदै अगाडि लैजाने धारणा समेत व्यक्त गर्नुभयो It's really fantastic to be here present today in Nepal to attend the outstanding Cambridge Learner Awards. It's a real pleasure to congratulate this year's students for their outstanding achievements in their Cambridge examinations. Very well done to you. Uh, we need to keep the joy and not just focus on the formality of this, but I saw the young people's faces this morning um, full of excitement, full of passion, full of looking forward to the future. I know the efforts that you've put into all the study, all the hard work. You've put in so much effort to fulfill your ambitions and those ambitions will continue into the future as new opportunities open up for you, both in study and in future work. That, when I see those faces uh, outside and I see them in, in the exams halls as well, that reminds me of what the British Council does and why we work in examinations. Whether it's Cambridge International Exams, IELTS exams, or as uh, Pratishta mentioned, other UK qualifications, we're here to support the opportunities of young people, to help you realize your dreams, to develop your skills, your confidence and connections in an increasingly connected world. I hear of students going to the US, to, the, to Australia, to the UK. Obviously, we're a bit more keen on the UK, or I personally am a bit more keen on the UK, but it's your choice to decide where you want to live and study and work in the future. As many of you know, the British Council's purpose is to support peace and prosperity around the world by building connections, understanding and trust between people in the UK and in countries worldwide. We work in education, in English and the arts, connecting people, and this word connecting is really crucial to our work. We're connecting people in over 200 countries with the UK and beyond. We were set up in 1934 at a time um, of great difficulty, economic depression, political extremism in some countries. That means we, we've been working uh, in, uh, in our work in education and cultural relations for 90 years. And that situation that we saw 90 years ago has some echoes into the current day where we want to keep saying, let's talk together, let's connect together, let's understand each other across different political divides, across different countries, to be a, a more peaceful world. In Nepal, we've been working here for 65 years. We've been creating opportunities um, to help transform the lives of young people in Nepal. At a strategic level, we work with the government of Nepal through multiple interventions at provincial and local levels to help improve the overall education quality in the country. We also work closely with schools and are delighted to offer a range of services to improve the ex experience for young people, making sure that they are able to get the best of what Rod mentioned in the video, to improve skills, knowledge uh, and abilities that will be really practical for the future. We offer lots of support through teacher training online and face-to-face. -face. We offer access to conferences, to competitions, uh, and, and increasing work around educational excellence. How do we make sure that the schools and teachers that we work with are able to give the best possible um, educational experience to young people? We're very proud to partner with Cambridge International Education in Nepal and many other countries. Through our collaboration, we help deliver highly valued, internationally recognised qualifications that open doors and opportunities for thousands of young people across Nepal and beyond. So I'd like to commend the hard work undertaken by the schools. You schools uh, here, you must feel so proud. Teachers uh, who put in a lot of effort to help young people uh, deliver the absolute best they can. And parents, I spoke to some proud parents this morning. You, you deserve to brag, you deserve to feel proud, today and, and in the coming years, I'm sure. You have done so much work to motivate young people who, in today's world, can be distracted, can feel overwhelmed. You've supported them, you've helped them achieve their goals. 
And young people, you've done the work. Um, this is a day to celebrate. Congratulations. So a huge thank you to parents uh, and to teachers and to the young people who've done so much work to choose the A-levels, to uh, be successful today and I'm sure into the future as well. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Today is your day. Thank you. कार्यक्रममा ब्रिटिश काउन्सिल र क्याम्ब्रिज इन्टरनेशनल एजुकेशनको तर्फबाट गुणस्तरीय शिक्षाको प्रत्याभूति दिइने खालका उत्प्रेरणात्मक मन्तव्यहरू व्यक्त गरिएको थियो and the fact that these amazing students are choosing the Cambridge path uh, is a brilliant connection all by itself um, it's part of a very long relationship uh, between the UK and Nepal uh, we famously celebrated a hundred years since our Treaty of Friendship was signed uh, on the 21st of December 1923. Uh, before that, we celebrated a few years back uh, the 200th anniversary of the relations between our countries. Um, the British Council is, of course, celebrating 65 years, but we heard that uh, it had been uh, very active um, for 90 years. Um, and I wanted to tell a very short anecdote, uh, which was my own encounter with that. Um, I was hanging out with the um, Association of uh, uh, Nepali uh, British uh, uh, degree holders uh, in, in, in Nepal. And we were talking about the 100 years of friendship. And, and they told me that uh, two of their uh, alumni uh, were a hundred years old. And I said, well, I would like to meet them, please. Um, and one of them was Dr. Dao, uh, uh, Dr. Das, sorry, Dr. Das. And he was an amazing man, a hundred years young. Uh, he had left Nepal uh, for the UK to study medicine uh, before you could leave uh, Nepal by air. Uh, he had to uh, kind of trek to uh, Calcutta, get on a boat, uh, traveled to the UK, uh, took him uh, under 20 days, uh, he about 16 days, he arrived at Tilbury Docks and who was there to meet him but the British Council. Uh, the British Council took him uh, into his studies in the UK, he aced them all, uh, he wanted to rush back to Nepal to uh, effectively found um, uh, medical policy uh, in this country. Uh, uh, but he ran into something called the Suez Canal Crisis, and he had to go all the way around Africa uh, on the way home, and it took him 40 days. And he had what was very clearly um, a torrid affair with an Indian lady who uh, danced to his pipe. And um, I j just have this kind of story told to you by a hundred-year-old man, all sparkling. Uh, it was wonderful, and just reminded me that um, this friendship of ours uh, has been going on for a very long time. Um, Last night, I had a wonderful evening with the Nepal Britain Society. Uh, they include uh, some of the people who have been personally involved in our relationship uh, for many, many years. I think I was probably the youngest person in the room. Uh, I am 61 years old. Um, and uh, I was surrounded by former ambassadors to London uh, from Nepal. Uh, and uh, it reminded me that um, our friendship goes back a long way. Um, but we also talk very seriously about whether that friendship uh, is alive and well at your age group. I'm talking to uh, our A-level uh, heroes here. Um, I think at the Nepali end it is. Uh, I think in the UK end, uh, I go by my own children, one of whom uh, graduates from Warwick, University in July, uh, the other who has just uh, started studying at the other place, I, I won't name it, um, and uh, their friends on campus, they, Nepal is a bit nebulous to them. Uh, kids have short attention spans, they have the whole world at their fingertips. Um, why should they? Uh, really wrap their heads around why the UK-Nepal relationship is so special. Uh, we have work to do there. Uh, so if I may, as a personal favour, I would like to enlist your support uh, in making friends in the UK, uh, telling those people 
uh, the wonderful story of the friendship between our countries. Let's keep this special thing uh, young. Um, there is a, a Cambridge connection uh, at my son's level. Uh, so Alexander, my older son, came out here uh, in his first uh, school holiday, university holiday, which coincided with my time in Nepal. And um, he volunteered as a teacher in Halambu Valley. He went to a village called Tar. Uh, and there he struggled with 60 kids um, with whom he had no single word in common. Uh, the only thing they really had in common was a tennis ball, which he had taken with him, and he used to throw it around the classroom, and it, it generated some kind of interaction. Um, the other kid who was with my son was from Cambridge, and this was part of a, uh, a network of um, Cambridge connections uh, with Halambu Valley. Um, and so young Cambridge people have been coming to Nepal for quite a while uh, to do this volunteer teaching or teacher's assistant. Uh, we need more of that. Um, the other thing we need more of is um, what you've been doing, which is what I call transnational education. It is the most fantastic thing. Uh, it is a complete win-win uh, for both ends of the relationship. Uh, yesterday I called on Nepal's new Minister of Education. Uh, we talked about many things, but including about transnational education. And in her we have a, a new fan uh, for what you've been doing. So you've got top cover. Um, I would just say to end, before we give the stage to the real heroes, that uh, stay connected, uh, to end on that word. Uh, your country needs you. Uh, it, it, is, it is quite true what the, the, the Cambridge Pathway slogan um, says to us. Uh, you are now ready for the world. A lot of you will go out into this world. Some of you may never come back to Nepal. Uh, but I hope most of you will, and I hope all of you will stay connected with Nepal. Uh, your country needs you. Uh, it's an old slogan, but it is absolutely true right now. Uh, stay connected with this country. Help us build uh, a brighter future for Nepal. Uh, help us ensure that the next 100 years of friendship are even better than the last one. Thank you. Leaders and the parents, can we clap for them, all the students? Yes, all the teacher, leader, and parents are proud to you that your students are winning such an award. And trust me, it is because of you that you provided the excellent environment of learning, and that makes the student possible to achieve these feats. I think that there are a lot of logos in here ready for the world. What does it mean? for all the e-learners over here. Okay, ready what the word means. Word is changing very fast. If you close your eyes and see after five years, what are the skill set be required? And whether the Cambridge qualification has equipped you for those qualifications or those skill set. I'm not talking about the subject specific alone. I'm talking about the much bigger human values, attributes and virtues which makes you ready for the future. And that's what we as a Cambridge delivers to you besides your thorough subject knowledge. I am sure every teacher and a student knows what all the Cambridge attributes are. You are confident and that is the virtue that you require in next five years when you are entering into a workforce. You are strong and collaborative and that is the virtue that is required in next five years. You are a curious learner, continuous learner because the world is changing very fast. We have always been trained, though uh, the change is the only constant, but nobody has told us the change, the rapid change, the space, the speed of change is very fast. What was relevant yesterday will not be relevant today. Do we teach our kids hunting nowadays? No. I think that we have learned driving, but imagine 20 years, do we need driving as a skill set? Probably those skill set has gone. Similarly, in your workspace, we are using a lot of Word, Excel, PowerPoint. Do you think that after 20 years, those things will be relevant? Probably no. So what is the one virtue which is required, which is relevant to you? Since the change is happening every day, the curiosity of learning, you become a lifelong learner, is the one virtue which Cambridge has taught you 
is going to be relevant in the future. So please remain a lifelong learner. That's my one number one advice. Is. We all know who all are using chat GPT. I'm talking about the student, not a teacher and leader. Who uses chat GPT? Quite few. See, chat GPT is a very, very nascent stage at this moment. And in the era of regenerative AI, do you know that how strong and powerful machine would be in five years or ten years down the line? They will be powerful. So what are the second virtue which is going to differentiate between you and those powerful machines and give you an ability to rule those machines for the better world? Is the number one human quality empathy. That AI will never able to learn the empathy thing. Don't forget that. Empathy and collaborating is the second virtue I will ask that remain with you. And that's what, when you do a lot of programming and financial action, that's the attributes that we are able to develop you. Second thing is, see, world is not a speed race. Your life is not a speed race. It's a marathon. You will run, you will fall, you will get up again. Sometimes you will get success, sometimes you will get failure. Resilience is the third attribute I would like you to stick on. Winner is not who will every race. Winner is the one who falls, get up, run again and win the race. So these are my three advices for you. Keep it and word is yours. All the best guys. I would like to take this opportunity to thank our chief guest of honor, Rafael, His Majesty's Ambassador, British Embassy, <coughs> Nepal, our most esteemed guests from the schools, students, parents, and the media fraternity present here today. I, on behalf of Cambridge and our partner, British Council team present here, would extend a very hearty vote of thanks to all the speakers for taking time from your respective schedules to grace this August occasion. A big thank you to our guest, Harriet Gardner, Regional Exams Director, South Asia, Shahida McDougall, the Country Director, and Patrikshta Thawa, Raya Maji, Regional Director, I'm so sorry, <laughs> uh, Country Exams Director, Nepal, and my colleague Mahesh Shivastapa, Regional Director, Cambridge International, South Asia, for that inspiring and motivational talk. I'm sure the students, parents, and all present here will have a lot to take away from the speeches that you have given today. We are all inspired by your great words. I want to thank both the students from Bhutanil Kantha School and the Trinity International College who shared their experiences and their journey with us today. Also extend my thanks to the students who showed their great skills with the beautiful cultural performances from St. Javier's College and Kathmandu World School. Today's event. Well, Chief Guest of Honor, ladies and gentlemen, an event like this cannot happen overnight. We'll start rolling months ago. It requires planning and bird's eye for details. We have been fortunate enough to be backed by a team of very motivated, dedicated colleagues from both British Council, Nepal, ably led by Pratishta Thapa Rayamaji and well supported by Krishnana Kansakar, Julian Pradhan and other colleagues from British Council Nepal and also from Cambridge International, Gaurav Kamal and our media partner U-Turn for organizing this event. Who knew their job very well and this event would not have been possible without the cooperation from each one of them. Our guest of honor, ladies and gentlemen, once again I want to state that we are most grateful to you all. We thank you for being with us today. 
It's been an honor. It's been a great pleasure. Thank you, sir, very much. Lastly, we request all of you to please join us for the photo session, followed by the lunch. Thank you once again. Thank you.